Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and this is problem number 133a and the problem link is codeforces.com slash problem set slash problem slash 133 slash a and the problem name is hq9 plus and it is a very uh, easier problem I think so let's read it hq9 plus is a joke programming language which has only four one character instructions h prints hello world q prints the source code of the program itself 9 prints the lyrics of the 99 bottles of the beer plus increments the value stored in the internal accumulator okay so there are four different characters uh, which does some <coughs> processing and prints some output you see h prints hello world q prints the source code 9 prints the lyrics of the 99 bottles of the beer and plus increments the value so plus does not pr prints anything and increments the value stored in the internal accumulator so instruction h and q are case sensitive and must be uppercase the characters of the program which are not in the instructions are ignored you are given a program written in a hq9 plus you have to figure out whether executing this program will produce any output okay so the input will consist of a single line p which will give a program in hq9 plus string p will contain between 1 and 100 characters inclusive the sky code of each character of p will be 33 and 126 so we'll be dealing with characters between 33 and 126 and both are inclusive so generally if they are not between hq9 plus then we have to ignore as the program says and output yes if executing the program will produce any output and no otherwise <coughs> okay so i think it's a basically string manipulation program and it's a very easy one so let's code it um, that goes for problem number one 33a So let's make an string hq9 which will contains characters hq9 I have not taken plus because it does not print anything and the uh, program says to print yes if executing the program will produce any output so I am not considering this uh, plus character in the input okay so we have to take the input from the user now if we have to check if input dot contains now we have to check uh, <coughs> whether it contains h or or if input dot contains q or, or input dot contains 9 okay so yes so actually and this string is also not needed i thought that it would be needed but yes it is not needed and why to waste the memory of computer okay so think that goes for the solution let us just test that i yes no so these are passing for the sample test cases we should also uh, test our problem with our own custom test cases so for from this problem i'm also going to create custom test cases of the problems basically these are of a types and does not need to think of more of the test cases that where our program fails because it's a very easy problem 
so generally what should be the practice that you should always think of the custom test cases and try to test whether your program passes for their custom test cases or not so let's test that okay so i think that is working fine let's submit that Mm, internet okay working okay submit it and test whether it passes the test cases or not running twenty nine test cases thirty two So we have to generally move towards the problem B and type C, then type T, then type E. And then only we can test whether we are good in programming or not. So yes, the problem test case is accepted. And yep, thanks for watching guys. Keep subscribing and keep sharing. Bye-bye.